All right. Where's uh, where's D-Line? It's, 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 it's on a hall. Yeah, yeah. Here. Reed's upstairs. Are you guys, I mean, I don't want him to stare you all down when he comes in here and you take his first question, Michael. So. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I mean, the way that this game unfolded towards the end, you guys have been in a few. Sure. Right now. Is this maybe becoming your team's identity? Well, you hope so. And that's what we, we said when, when Mr. Blank uh, hired me and Terry. I mean, we wanted a, a tough-minded football team, and, and we've started to build that. I mean, I, I just said, you, you get in games like this, yeah, sure. I mean, we, you'd love to be in four minute and, and win easy in the fourth quarter. It's a really good football team. I mean, they're five and two. This is a really tough place to play. It's a divisional uh, rival. I mean, just write all the narratives you can. And um, our guys don't flinch. Uh, you know, it's, uh, I was joking, Mr. Blank. I'll get a text later from my mother tell, telling me to stop doing that. We're just trying to win. Um, you know, so we'll do it any way we can. And when you put the ball in Matt Ryan's hand, with the game on the line, my money's on Matt. So that's how I feel. Where, where, do you, where did things maybe? These guys are up 24-6. They may be what looked like a somewhat comfortable position. It's the National Football League, Michael. It's not for soft souls. If you get comfortable, shame on you. The pass to uh, Cordero, that kind of set everything up at the end there. Um, what can you kind of say about his ability to get open but also break that tackle keep going? He's, he's, a, he's a really good football player. I mean, obviously, we have a lot of faith in, in CP and Matt and the old line. I mean, they don't get enough credit, right? I mean, you, the drive before, we tried to stay aggressive. Credit to the Saints. You know, they made plays. Um, you know, we weren't going to get into a three-yard and cloud of dust. So we, we tried a couple of different things. We got the penalty in the first down. I talked about the drive before. And, and again, we, we went into a little zone read, see if we could get them, get some yards going. They played it pretty well. And, you know, it shows the faith we have in Felipe because those are big time and Situation right there, but I trusted Felipe with the football, and, and he was smart, and I know it wasn't what we wanted. And they jammed us up on the on the next one, a play pass. So you're back there, and it feels ugly. And and we get sacked, and then you know Dustin Colquitt kicks it, and they come down and they make a play, and, and that's the NFL. And our guys just keep swinging, and you know Trevor makes one out to the left, they score to go ahead. But I looked up, and there's plenty of time, and we had our timeouts. And I was like, good, you know, we stopped at those two point conversions. They went on both of those. You know, that's when you get in those games, the unintended consequences. They miss, you know, miss one, so they're forced to go for it again, and we stopped them both. Those are two huge plays in this game, the two-point conversions for our defense. What did you say to Matt going out there before that last round? Same thing I say to Wong. I, we, we have a neutral mindset, and we go in there, we talk about it, say, hey, look, if we get this matchup over here, let's take it. And that's what it boiled down to. If they didn't give us that, we're going to something else. So that's pretty simple. And he, he's as cool as, as they can be. So I don't know what this is. Like, I'm, Again, I don't want to put you on the spot, Bassey, but his comebacks are getting up there, right? Yep. Yeah. So, so that ha it helps when you got a veteran Hall of Fame type quarterback. So that, that, that certainly makes it easy. Is there something that you can see from a guy like Matt Ryan that can tell you that he can be a guy like that? Because not every guy can do. Yeah, just look at his look at his whole career. That's what's a body of work. Uh, my experience with him. I mean, already what's been done this season. So, and, and not enough credit either too. I mean, guys that continue to operate. Uh, you know, the Josh Harris world, I mean, even the, the whole operation, the, the, those are things that those guys are real pros, him and Colquitt, and then obviously Koo's been clutch. Your first game as a head coach uh, for the Falcons in this building, mm -hmm. any sense for the specialness of this, of this rivalry? Well, it's, a, it's an intense rivalry. These guys have been the standard in this division the last four years. Uh, so I know Tampa won the Super Bowl last year. It's a really tough division. Uh, but these guys have, uh, since Sean Payton's been here, they've had a lot of sustained success. And so it's a, it's a good win for us. All right, wrapped up. All right, <laughs> thanks, guys. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, no. I'm, you probably already covered the last Go for 64 it. yarder uh, by Cordell. And Matt, how big was that play to? You know, it's huge. Sure. Season? Yeah, you know, I mean, you can get an explosive play to start a drive like that. It certainly makes it easier as a play caller. Because, you know, when you go in there, if it's incomplete, you know, or you know, something negative happens. I mean, that, that building gets ramped up. It's it's an enormous play. Had you seen something that made, that made you think that play call was going to be there? Yeah, just kind of kind of how they've been playing, the third down and two minute, and, and it's chess match. So this is a really good defense and a defensive staff, and they made their adjustments and we made ours. And like I said, we put them out there and we got the matchup we wanted. And Matt and CP made it work. I was going to say, did you need a certain look for it to be? 
Sure. I mean, the, yeah. I mean, I'm not going to get into all of our schemes, but we got the look we wanted right there. And uh, just, uh, you know, you get the big sack strip and uh, yeah. gets, gets hurt. Uh, just, you know, they were going to come, but how would you guys just stay there and, uh, you know, try to, you know, keep them from getting downhill on you? Well, I mean, we, we there's a lot of unsung heroes on this football team, and there's been a lot of change. And, and like I said, we got a real football staff that's really collaborative. From our from our entire scouting to our you know coaches and everybody and it's it's a real team we don't you know there's no politicians involved and we've we've had a vision and and they underrated and there's a lot of credit that goes you bring in James Waters right he made an enormous play today Mike Pinnell he's he's been pretty solid you get Anthony Rush I mean gosh mighty he made, he made some good plays I mean these are guys that said well, you continue to turn the roster and they've stepped up and we got a team that believes and, and uh, no egos and it's a fun group to coach. On the string of three penalties, uh, you know, that's busting about uh, yeah. uh, four days. Uh, well, you know, uh, look, these guys, look, I, 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 the officials in this league have a hard job. And, you know, there's a lot put on their plate. I think these guys have done a nice job. Um, certainly in the moment, you can get frustrated. But, again, I, I can see what they saw. And, and like I said, I, I got no issues with the officiating. Officiating, it's hard. that's a hard job. And the more rules they make, it's – it's like the bills they put through Congress. I mean, you know, it makes it harder to enforce them. Yeah, but the, I think our the officials in our league, they got a tough job. And my experience as head coach, they've done a nice job. And Coos kick at the end, his 29 yarder, uh, didn't have to take send him out there. Actually, Neil to get it to him. Sure. You know, you're playing the game. You know, you know where their timeouts are, and you just want to have a, a situation to walk off. You don't want to have to roll back out there and kick to Deontay Harris. He's an electric football player, so it's good situational football. Um, Said, I mean, you would like to not have the whole scrum at the end, you know, you, you, whether they're going to say, hey, let him score. I mean, we have a mechanism for that. And then you get there and you make sure you operate and you milk the clock down. No different than what we did in Miami. What is the sure thing factor of Coop from inside the 30? I think almost any NFL kicker, you would feel pretty good inside the 30. You said you've got a mechanism that they're going to try to let you score. Sure. I mean, every team, though, that's a little secret, you know. I mean, that, that, you get in those situations, right? We've seen it happen. You've seen it happen in the Super Bowl. Obviously, the Giants, Patriots, one comes to mind. I mean, it's it's happened. Got a situation in Miami this year, or it, almost identical to it, almost identical. So you get you just got to be prepared. For that. That's why you practice situational football. I know against Miami, you said as an offense, when you get down and you know inside the two-minute, you want the ball in your hands, and yep. you have to have that mindset. I mean, sure. Can you kind of speak more to that mindset and, and how Matt Ryan kind of embodies that? It's really our whole team, but Matt's our leader, and you know Grady, and those guys, and and. Like I said, that it, it takes an entire team, and, and those guys have bought in. A fun group to coach, but that's what you did. I mean, the whole the whole mechanism. Like you get in there, sure. Like you'd love to have a comfortable leave. Everybody wants to be comfortable. That's not the NFL. Not when you're on the road playing a good team. And and our mindset's be we're going to finish games, and it's never going to be perfect. We're going to try to be, but it shows more about their mental toughness. And when you roll it out there, you got to stay in the present. And, and here's what the call is. All right, if you're off track, where are we going to? And that's that's my job. That's why they pay me to do it, coach. You, you mentioned how you know, the situation of football practice. How much do you do that, something like this throughout the course of the week? Again, I'm not going to get into our practice schedule. Who, who, but who comes up with those situations? I, I'm not going to get into it, but we have a really good football staff. And I just, I just, every team does. I mean, every team works. It's pro football, but I'm not going to get into our specifics there, Michael. I appreciate the question, but keep that in house. With, with a growing team that's you know gone through bumps along the way, does, how, how much pride do you take in now having three last second field goal wins all on the road? I take a lot of pride in it, and, and, but the credit goes to those guys, that, the, the men in that locker room. They're the ones that make it happen. So uh, I said I, I really, really enjoy coaching this football team. Yeah, Coach, with uh, Calvin Offer, I was wondering where production might go. It looked like it moved around to the group. Uh, Russell, Same thing in London, D-Led. Uh, it's pro football. Yeah, it's our job. We're in the solution business. Um, that doesn't change. You have injuries, part of this football game. It's a long season. We're in a 17 game season. And we're, going, we're right now, we're right in the middle, and we're in the mix. And so we have a huge game to go down to Dallas next week against a really good football team. And that's what it is. And you're going to need contributions from everybody. You're never going to have that little clean sheet of depth chart. When you go in there, it's never going to stay the same. And uh, it's our job to adapt, and our guys have. Any sense of the seriousness? I'm not a doctor. Just we'll, we'll 
I'll update you like I do every week. And I, I don't, I, I, I can't speculate on that. I did. Yeah, I stole from Mike Vrabel. I, I, I thought it was a good thing that Rabes did. It made a lot of sense. So I did. There's a lot of things I've stolen from Mike Vrabel and a lot of good coaches I've, I've been, been around. All right, appreciate it, guys. Thank you.